Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. I'm really happy to see you guys today. I'm going to talk about bar chords on the ukulele as I increase my lighting a little bit here. Um, I'm going to give you an exercise. Sorry, I was looking down at the screen here. I'm going to give you an exercise. Why don't I minimize this? I'll just talk to you guys directly to help you with your bar chords. So uh, if you're having trouble with bar chords, one thing that you can do is simply start by pinching two strings around the fifth or seventh fret, something like this, and only play those two. So you want to build up the strength to be able to pinch. Some people talk about kind of leaning back. I don't know about that. I prefer just having a good, strong pinching strength with a straight, rigid index and start with two strings and then work your way towards the first fret where the strings are a little stiffer. So it's a little harder over there. So this is just kind of an exercise to get that strength up. You do it for a minute or two every day. Then you could do three strings starting around the middle of the neck, three strings, get a nice sound on each, right? And then work your way towards the first fret. You get the idea. And then eventually you want to get a nice sound with all four strings and work your way towards the nut and get all the strings to ring there. This can take some time. It can take a couple of weeks, but if you do it regularly, you will build up that strength, a bit of a callus on your index. Remember to keep the index rigid and close to the fret that's on the, the side of the sound hole, okay? Leaning like this side here, not over here. On this side, it's a little easier to get a nice sound, okay? Build up with that, starting with two, three, four strings, working towards the nut. Now, in terms of the most common ukulele bar chords, what's kind of interesting is that they all stem from open shapes. So if I take like a C major chord, well, I can make a bar chord out of that shape. Here's what we do. I'm going to change fingers. I'm going to use my pinky instead, and I'm going to pretend my index is barring at the nut. Then if I slide that around, so this is C, and the third string is a C note. That's my root of the chord. There's a C note right there. There's also a C on the first in this case, but let's refer to the third string for now. And if I move up a couple frets, one, two, and bar in the second fret, this becomes a D major bar chord. And my root is on the third string here. Now a D, I slid it up a tone, right? I went from C, C sharp, D. I build my shape from there. Ta-da, D major. If I go up two more, one, two, that's E major. And if I go up one more, that's an F major. The fifth fret would be an F major chord because this note on the third string is F. So for this shape, again, the root is on can be on the third string. It's also on the first, but let's refer to the third string. It's a little easier for now. And the fifth fret would be an F major chord. Okay, all this stemming from a C major shape, which I'm sure many of you know, that's sliding up the neck. Does that make sense? C major, open, second fret, D major. Okay, let's move on. What if I do a C7 shape? Okay, C7 is very similar. If I change fingers, I'm going to put my middle finger there. I'm barring at the nut. And then if I move it up, let's go to the second fret again. That's D7 for the same reason. Now the third string note is a D and I have a D7 chord right there. Fourth fret would be E7, okay? If I do the third fret, that's a D sharp seven or an E flat seven, okay? So every single fret here would have a different name depending which note is on the third string. So again, the fifth fret like before, this would be an F7. If I do the pinky version, it's F major, simple happy major chord. And if I do the middle finger here, that's a dominant chord in F7 stemming from our C7 shape, okay? Next, what about an A chord, A major? Here, the first string is an A. So we're gonna refer to the first string for our chord names. And if I change fingers, bar at the nut and move it up. Let's go two frets for now. This would be a B major chord, right? Some of you might know this one. It's a tricky bar chord to run into. So the roots on the first string, second fret, right here like this. 
we have a B major. If I go to the first fret, oh, it's stiff here, it's hard. That's a B flat major chord, B flat. That's, and it comes from, maybe you don't realize, but comes from the A shape, that A major shape, okay? So we have B flat, B, and this would be a different voicing for a C chord. If I do it, fourth fret, it's C sharp, major, and the fifth fret is uh, a D major chord in the fifth. And again, here the root is on the first string, so the fifth fret here is a D note. Okay, next shape out of seven, let's refer to the A7. And here again, the root's on the first. So if I do it, I change fingers. I'm going to bar at the nut and let's slide it up to here. This is a way to play a B7 bar shape. Now, many of these uh, tricky bar chords, there are easier ways to play them. I'll link to some videos down in the description once I'm through the live stream here that can help you play some easier versions of these chords, including a deep dive on like the B flat chord and the B minor chord. Okay, so you can check those out after. This here is a B7, and again, the root's on the first. If I do it at the third fret, C7, and let's go to the fifth, that would be a D7. Okay, this is another seven shape stemming from, based on the A7, the open A7 chord shape. Next, here, let me grab a sip of coffee here. Next, we're going to base on an F major chord. So if I take an F chord, now my root's on the second string. Okay, so this is an F in the first fret there. Second string, first fret, F. I do an F chord. Well, what if I change fingers, bar at the nut, just like all the other ones, and let's slide it up to one, two. This is like a G major chord. It's a different voicing for G major. Notice I get the same little triangle shape here. I'm just adding a note up here. We're gonna change fingers like that. You see that? See how it's kind of like a, a G major? So, and the root here, my middle finger is on a G note. Okay, so that would be G. And if I do this one, say at the fifth fret, it's another way to play an A chord. This is an A bar chord, or maybe the third here would be a G sharp major that might come in more handy g sharp major right i mean a you could do this but why not just play your open a shape right so some of these are good to know but you won't apply them as much to be honest uh a major and then up here for example would be a b major chord where my middle finger is on the seventh fret now which is a b note okay moving on that's stemming from the f shape that can also move around and so like this. So this, for example, would be in the first fret would be F sharp, F sharp major like that. Okay. It's like the F sliding up, changing fingers, barring in the first. By the way, some of these you can bar all four or like the bottom three or two strings. It's up to you. Whatever helps you get a, a nice clean sound. I tend to like to bar the, the minimum amount. I just because a ukulele neck small, I don't like clamping down on all of them. I find I get a better grip. Uh, by barring the bottom two strings for a B flat, for example, or the bottom three strings here for the F sharp major chord. Okay, whatever whatever works for you. Okay, just two more guys. A minor, check this out. A minor, my roots on the first string. That's an A. And then if I go to the second fret, this is a B minor. So our that infamous B minor chord stems from an A minor shape. So if I do it in the first fret, that would be, because this is a B flat note, barring, adding third finger on top, that's a B flat minor. Second fret, B minor. Third fret, a C minor. Do you guys know that one? Then the fourth fret, C sharp minor. And let's do one more. The fifth fret would be a D minor chord. So I could play an open D minor shape like this. Maybe you already know that one. But if I do it at the fifth, it's a barred variation of a D minor chord, okay? The most common ones here probably being the B minor at the second fret, and then the uh, C sharp minor comes up a lot at the fourth fret like this. And again, these are all coming from our good old open A minor chord where I just change fingers, bar at the nut, slide up. Okay, one more. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I really appreciate it. 
consider subscribing for tons more beginner ukulele videos. And there's links down in the description to playlists and other ukulele, ukulele videos that can help you out. The last bar chord shape that's good to know is barring all. So open strings, A minor seven. If I do it in the second fret like that, this would be a B minor seven minor seven and then third fret C minor seven okay also uh, you know the open is a C six so this could be like a D six in the second fret but let's just refer to it as minor seven so second fret is B minor seven third fret C minor seven fourth fret C sharp minor seven fifth fret D minor seven I hope this makes sense. Again, we're just stemming from the open shapes. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I really appreciate your comments and your support. Check out the links below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.